Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your brother by Mary Dees M. T. Marathi to you all. Heritage is a very important concept in African culture, in African society in general. The way we view it is very different than the European, which is their concept of heritage is very, very limited. It is really my family, your family, their family, we're all separate. Whereas black people, we're a very communally oriented, heretical group. We pull everybody within the community together, and this is our family. It was Hidden Colors, I think it was uh, part two, which started me thinking on the lines that because of this heretical concept that we have, we owe some non-white people apologies. Yeah, that probably rubs you the wrong way. But I meditated on it for quite some time before making this video. You see, it was in Hidden Colors where they talked about when the Vietnam War was going on. Many of the Vietnamese seeing black soldiers coming on to uh, the grounds thought that the Buddhist gods had come back to help them defeat the Americans and the reason for this was the Vietnamese were used to seeing blacks in the roles of Buddhist sages and sages and this this was quite an interesting concept to me because I'd never heard this and it got me to thinking about some of the real disdain which exists in Europe in what they used to call Indochina or excuse me not in Europe but in Asia in what they used to call Indochina um, all over that area for black people it never made fundamental sense to me why these people would have such disdain for black people until I saw that. Hidden Colors actually talks about the fact that blacks in Asia were very, very revered for a lot of centuries. They w were instrumental in creating uh, the samurai culture. They were instrumental in creating the underpinnings for Buddhism, Hinduism, I think even Taoism they mentioned. They were seen as incredible sages with amazing wisdom and incredible um, strength. Imagine then the drama, the, the trauma, not drama, but trauma that must have been inflicted on these people when they saw these revered entities coming into their nation now trampling over their rights, over their culture, and doing it in the name of liberty and freedom. Imagine, imagine the spiritual shock that had to uh, take place as these people watched this happen. They thought that the Buddhist gods were on their side, but now here were the Buddhist gods turning against them, doing the most disgraceful things to their cultures to their communities and to their peoples would you not hate them too would you not hate them too especially you don't you can't grasp why these people are doing this when they used to be on your side There is a lot of repenting which needs to take place, and I use the term more in the sense of apologizing when it comes to black folks to other non-white folks. We have done damage. We have not only done damage in Asia, but we have done damage here in America to Native Americans. Those that are called the so-called Latino and Latino, which I love the fact that people don't realize that is a very, 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 very 
young term. When I say very young term, um, I read somewhere that it was created in the 1970s. What? And, and when I say the 1970s, I'm not talking the middle of the 1970s, late 1970s. I'm talking early 1970s, 70, 71. Why would that term be created in 1970, 1971? To foster division between blacks and Latinos who were starting to get together. Or, excuse me, blacks and Native Americans, because they're all Native Americans, who were starting to get together. And they were starting to foment revolution. But we have done this damage. We don't like to admit it. We don't like to even contemplate it because we are really locked in sometimes to, well, we are really the only victims of this. No. No. We have not only been the victims, but like all victims, we have been the victimizer also. Because we were not conscious enough to realize what we were doing. Now, there is... There is the need for reconciliation we need to build bridges and that means apologizing where apologies uh, need to be made oftentimes we hear people talk about truth and reconciliation among Europeans and blacks but I think in our own communities we need to have a truth and reconciliation committee and committees between all non-white people. We need to do it for the betterment of our communities and we need to do it I think to expose the callousness and the sickness which is uh, white supremacy and the European dominance of the world. It will not only help us save ourselves, it will help us save the lives of our siblings who we do we do really need this is going to be difficult it probably won't I, I don't know if it'll ever happen but in order to get past white supremacy to get past um, European dominance we are going to have to do these things because when we're not talking amongst each other we allow them to do the talking for us and right now what they're spewing into our ears what they're spewing into our communities is nothing but hate they're saying to us that Latinos are taking our jobs that Latinas are taking our jobs the fact of the matter is who is giving those jobs away the job givers are the white man and that has nothing to do with us when we come together and we start creating our own jobs then we won't be talking about who's taking our jobs we'll be talking about the jobs which need to be done and how are they uh, helping our communities and fostering health in our communities it is only when we start looking at the world through white supremacy do we hear this concept of taking a job which that's again this hyper Darwinian, uh, Darwinian um, evolutionary nonsense which has us all pitted against one another I hope you enjoyed this conversation um, if you have any comments questions concerns I'll leave my email address um, you can also hit me up on Facebook by Amir Adiso Gaia don't hesitate to do so Mtima Roddy to you Mtima Roddy that my friends is soul lightning right from the heart too. Peace to you all.